would, uh, it definitely was an eye opener for uh, to be in the professional hockey world. Um, you know, being traded once already, it's kind of you know you know what to expect, I suppose. But at the same time, when you're when you're traded during the season, it's a lot to kind of handle. And um, you know, luckily my parents were there when when I was traded, and and uh, they kind of helped make it a little easier with packing stuff up. But um, you know, at the end of the day, that's the business that we're in, and that's uh, you know the sport that we choose to play. Um, pretty exciting to be still to be part of this, this franchise. I mean, as, as it takes the next step up yeah. and, and moves out of this rut. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think every time a, a, se or a team starts a new season, every, they have expectations. And I know oftentimes the Oilers have, have had expectations, but, you know, can never really fulfill them. And, um, you know, now, now it's a time where I think fans and players can really be excited about the opportunities that this team, you know, is, is trying to present themselves to them. And, um, you know, with the faces that we brought in and obviously with the first overall pick, um, you know, it, it'll definitely help, um, you know, to turn, this, to turn the team around. Um, Shirelli and you, I mean, obviously he was your GM at the time when you were in Boston, so is that kind of a nice, nice kind of hopefully a nice open with you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, again, anytime you have a familiar face with someone you know, it uh, can make things easier, even more so you, they, they recognize you and they recognize your, uh, you know, the way you play. You don't have to get to know them as much anymore. And, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's still jobs on the line and there's still spots to be won. And, and you know, whether I know uh, Mr. Schreller or not, it doesn't really apply. I have to go out there and, and play my game.